It's Al Smith here. I just upgraded my session to a session five. You need to know a couple things before you go out and buy this camera. I'm personally very disappointed in this camera for one reason, that one major reason alone for me, it may not work for you, it may not disappoint you, so I'm gonna tell you my top four reasons to upgrade the, to the GoPro 5 session and the top four reasons not to upgrade to the GoPro 5. Here is my biggest complaint with the GoPro Session 5. The audio quality in it is horrible. Whatever they did changed the way it deals with audio. Here's a clip in my Jeep and you can hear the background noise is crazy and the exhaust note of my Jeep goes crazy. I'll run it next to this one right after so you can hear the difference. I'll go back and forth, check these two clips out and listen to the background noise in these two clips. They're in the exact same mount, nothing is different, nothing has changed in my setup. The exact two cameras in exactly the same situation. Listen to the audio. This is back to the other, my original Hero session, just so you can see and hear how the sound is on the original one that I was using forever. I'm accelerating. All right, so my dash cam right now is the Hero 5, uh, which is an upgrade to the Hero, the Hero 4 session. So they're both sessions, one's the 5, one's the older one. And this one has the image stabilization turned on and it does some weird stuff I noticed. I thought it would be good for the car. When you turn it on, it moves and it like jiggles. You can see the car moving a little bit when it's bumpy. So I'm not sure if I like that or not. It's an interesting thing. I saw it for the first time when I was parking the other day. I'm accelerating. That's a huge issue for me because I need to sit in the Jeep and talk to you guys. That's a huge issue. I can't deal with that. It makes the audio unusable for what I've been using the sessions for in the Jeep. I've been running two of them. Unusable audio. I can't use this camera because of the audio. It's my biggest complaint. So I contacted GoPro support just in case I was missing something. Maybe there's a new setting or a new something that I was missing. So I contacted their live chat and this is what I got from them. Hello, my name is Kevin. How can I help you? And just I'll summarize my thing. I told them the exact issue. I said I've, I've upgraded to it. The audio is unusable in the car. You can't even hear me. I've got them both in the same mount. I've even got video from the two of them that I can send you if you need to hear it. I said, is there a setting that I'm missing in the Hero 5 that I don't know about that has to do with audio? And they said, thank you for chatting with GoPro support. I am stoked that I was able to assist you with all you needed to make sure you can maximize the full potential of your video camera or your camera and start being a hero. GoPro, am I talking to a robot? Like, did you just, you didn't help me with anything. You went right from, hello, my name is Kevin. I'm glad I could help you. How does that, shake your head, GoPro, shame on you. WTF, you didn't help me with anything. And they said, it's my pleasure to help you in any ways that I can. So read what I wrote above and answer my question. Can you please wait two minutes because I look my resources here. Unfortunately, we do not have any audio adjustments for the Hero 5 session. I said, so it's just that bad? I thought the cameras in the Hero line had a high and low. This one apparently doesn't. They just answered again with a cut and pasted. Unfortunately, we do not have any audio adjustments for the Hero 5 session. It's unfixable what you just saw in the video. You need to know that because you will be in situations where if you're relying on the audio from this, it'll be very, very unusable. You'd be better off using an original session, okay? That's my number one complaint. And that's the whole reason that this video is now on the internet. Second reason, they went to the new USB type C connection, which isn't that big a deal if these are the only GoPros you own. But if, you're, if you have a whole arsenal of GoPros already that are all built on the old standard and all the old cables, you need to carry two sets of cables if you add this to your little system. Image stabilization for me wasn't working in the Jeep well because what would happen is, you can see in this clip here, the nose of the Jeep would turn and then the camera would turn. And it gave this very washy effect. And a lot of people I showed the video out of it to said that they felt like throwing up because it was just so motion sickness inducing. So I can't use it for that reason. And then the last one for me is that I'm worried about this door. 
Uh, the other one felt solid. This door, they've made it so you can now take the door off. Um, I don't know why they decided that was important. I'm guessing because maybe they want to go for the other one or they want a replacement door. Maybe people were breaking. I don't know why. But I'm concerned that that's going to become a weak point, that little plastic clip in there, and it could cause your camera to leak. Because could you imagine if it didn't seal properly and you got water all inside your GoPro housing, which is waterproof? That's a concern for me. Four reasons I think you should upgrade are 4K. If you need 4K, this one has it. The old one doesn't. So... Upgrade if you need 4K, bar none. If you're not, if you don't need sound, you don't care about sound, you need 4K, it's a good upgrade. It's worth it. The, the second one for me is the higher frame rates in 1080p are kind of cool. If you need higher frame rates in 1080p and you've always thought that the session didn't have high enough frame rates for you, then upgrade because I think that would make it worth it. The third one for me is image stabilization may work for you in certain circumstances. If you're riding a bike or you're doing certain things where you know you need that, it'll probably work for you. So if you need the image stabilization on certain things, yes, if you're doing it in a car, I think it adds this weird effect that makes it hard to see what's going on. And then the fourth big reason for me to upgrade to this camera is they've now in the firmware made it so you can use an external mic with this camera, which you couldn't with the original session. So the new session can put a mic on it, which is awesome. Won't work for me, unfortunately, because I turn my camera around on the dash constantly and it would just get in the way if I had it plugged in. If you're going to use an external mic, know that you need the new Type-C USB connector, which is different from your old connectors if you, with all your other GoPros if you're using an external mic. Okay, so there's the top four reasons. Two is 4K if you need it, image stabilization if it'll work for you, new frame rates in 1080p, which is awesome, and you can put an external mic on it. Four concerns, audio was brutal, Image stabilization didn't work for me in my car rig setup. The new USB cable type C means I got to carry other ones on top of all my other GoPros to charge stuff and everything. And that little door might break. Those are my reasons why you should not upgrade if the session is working fine for you. Okay. I can't get over the sound quality of this thing by itself. It's un bearable. It didn't work and I'm disappointed. And what was with their live chat support? A, I think I was talking to a bot, and B, then I think I was talking to somebody who doesn't know English, which if you know my IPs coming from North America, you should hook me up with English, at least. Thank you. Or if I type you in English, you should detect it. It's the 2016s. Check that stuff out. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. So I really just wanted to put that out there because no one's talked about that sound issue yet. No one's talked about the fact that you need to upgrade to new USB things. I don't know if anyone's really talked about the external mic yet with that last firmware update that just came out for it, but those are my top four to buy and my top four not to buy. Hope that helps you guys make a decision. We'll see you guys soon. I don't often do gear reviews, but when I do, they're based completely on my experience in using these things. And uh, that's it. I won't tell you, I won't sugarcoat anything for you, but there's my review of the two GoPros. <laughs> I'm so sad because I wanted it to work so well. I thought that image stabilization would be awesome. And if the sound was okay, I would probably upgrade. I'd probably upgrade all my GoPros. Because I can turn image stabilization off if I need to. And then I could sell all my GoPros and update them all to the new ones so I only have one cable to carry around again. I just can't get over how bad the audio is. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow.